Okay. I'm playing more of the collective. I have a game set up here, just need to get Octagon to work. There we go. Yeah, I built the collective. It seemed really strong in my first match. I totally forgot I needed to change the deck up. So this is gonna have this is gonna be slightly different than what I wanna play. The first game, it showed me that the deck is good, but it also showed me that a few of the cards I included were not not good, namely Stimhack. I thought, oh, I'm playing like self-modifying code, I should play Stimhack. But it turns out that you really don't want to take brain damage. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that and play a Hostile. Or sorry, Hostage, that's the one. Hostile's not a card. Well, this doesn't give me... any extra clicks. And it doesn't have a professional context, even though it, it other than that it seems fine, so I'm gonna mulligan it. Also that mod it's kinda useless in that hand as it stands. Okay, well this is better. Um, I can diesel and diesel will almost certainly give me another event. And then I can play modded and that other event to get my bonus click on turn one. Oh, well, it didn't. <laughs> Poop. Um. I guess instead I can go Data Sucker, Daily Casts, SMC, and that'll give me a bonus click for three installations. And then I can run... Ooh, those might be Snare. Then again, they might be Agendas, but then again, he might be running... Mid-Season. I'm just gonna run his hand. That gives me a Data Sucker counter, if nothing else. Alright, he has a Jackson Howard. Good to know. I was able to get chat working again, so that's nice. Yep, figured he'd have an Astro script. It's a real shame. But not much I could do about it. Alright, well I'm going to get my bonus click through running this turn. I'm going to mod it out R&D interface. Then I'm going to run R&D. Then I'm going to maybe run HQ, then I'm maybe going to run this server. Depending on if I... If I get agendas off this R&D run, then... Obviously, I'll just run it again. Okay, perfect. It's a shame this deck can't run Desperado, but that would be unfair. That would be very unfair. Oh, well, <laughs> look at me. Now, the game's not programmed properly with the runs. See, it didn't give me a, a click. So I'm going to have to manually do that. Alright. Anonymous tip and pop-up window. That's good to know about. 
Uh, and I think I'm going to draw a card on my bonus click. Ooh, well that's a good one. Suspect he's gonna. Oh no, he's just installing. He's not playing anonymous tip yet. Okie doke. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do this turn. Hmm. Well, I wanna get Katie Jones started. Let's draw a card and see if I can't find an easy installation like a data sucker. Although I don't really want to install like another... Huh. I could draw three cards, then Katie Jones activate Katie Jones. That's not terrible. Let's draw a card and see what we get. That's not... that doesn't seem useful. It doesn't seem like he's a Scorched Earth deck from what I've seen. Well, I mean, I, I, mean, I haven't seen any influence, so he could be. Let's draw another card. And now that we've drawn two cards... Third card's free. Alright, the mem chip's helpful. I suspect. Mm. Well, I expect he'll play pop up window over RD. This deck could be iceless. It could be that deck that doesn't run any ice. Oh no, he's just going to Jackson Howard and then just he, like draw a bunch of agendas, then shuffle. Yeah. Shuffle away a bunch through discarding, perhaps? Oh no, he's just going to do that instead. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, this is going to be a running turn. We're going to start with a run on archives. See what he discarded. Also get a data sucker counter. Worth considering. It's not useless. Okay, I guess he's not really running to I guess other than the breaking news. So that's why he's discarding that. That makes sense. And then okay, discarding that anonymous tip we saw. Alrighty. Nothing here I'm too scared of. I mean like roto turret pop up like if this is pop up and this is roto turret, that would suck, but other than that, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run R and D. Yep. Oh, is it two pop-up windows? That's awkward. It could be two pop-up windows. It could also be the roto turret I'm worried about, but no, nope. yeah, two pop-ups. Well, that's gross. Not much we can do about it, though. And I mean, it's worth it's worth it to get these two accesses. Whew! Especially since we got that little piece of info. Alright, well, we can run his hand for free. Maybe snipe an agenda. Though, I mean, sniping an agenda might get us mid season, so. Oh, wow, just another pop up window. Okay. I forgot to give us our bonus click. Well, I'm just going to take a credit. Not the most eventful bonus click, but, you know, not worthless. And. Put credits on Katie. Sea source. What's going on here? Is 
to just killing my Katie, I guess? Yeah. That's awkward. Yeah, that's a real shame. Well, I'm gonna have to try and find another one, I guess. But I'm pretty poor right now. I think I'm just gonna take four credits here. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, really, this this deck is night and day. Uh, professional contacts versus no professional contacts. That's why I was talking about that one of hostage. Okay, that's a Bernice. Gonna want a fair number of credits before I run there, so I can beat that trace. Avoid the tag. I think I'm going to just take five credits. Or maybe I'll take three credits and then run. And then play Plascrete. That seems pretty reasonable. Like, he wouldn't have put this there if there was nothing in his hand, unless he's trying to fake me out, but. I don't want to get into those games. Okay, yep, so he has the mid-season. Yeah, I'm just going to play up my Plascrete. And then next turn I'm probably going to draw three cards. Yep, he drew all of his pop-ups. He has all the pop-ups. Maybe I need to kill that marked account? It's possible. Uh-oh. Well, that's no fun. Yep. Ugh. Gross. Let's draw some cards. Ooh, that's a good one. That is completely useless. <laughs> oh, but that's nice. Um... I think it's a bit late for professional contacts. Feels like I need to sort of go for the throat a bit more. Next turn I'm going to take six credits off of Armitage, play R&D interface, and then on my bonus click run R&D. Uh, I'll have enough money to beat this Bernice Trace. Oh, well, maybe not. Not if he hedges. What an asshole. I guess I won't play out the R&D interface. I'll just take credits, I'll run on my second to last click, and then I'll shake the tag on the last click. Seems pretty reasonable. Okay, well, toll booth. Scary. Alright. 
And he can mid season me on this turn, but I have plus I have Plasky Carapace out, so I'm not too worried about it. I doubt he's gonna be able to hit me with uh with three scorches three scorched in one turn. Oh, of course, he's going to want to do that thing where you psychographics. Well, that's cool with me. I'll just have to find three more points before that happens. I totally forgot I needed to not take an Armitage credit there. Because if you leave, if you have it, if you only ever take it in bunches of three, you can get two bonus clicks off of it. But now I can't. Now that's lost to me forever. I think I'm going to go credit, 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 Armitage, Armitage. That way, next turn, I can go R&D interface, run R&D. Credit, credit, credit. I'll probably go credit, credit, credit first. Uh-oh. He's installing something. Is it another marked account? No, I think he would have put credits on it if it were. Maybe it's a melange, and he's hoping I don't run it. I'm not going to run it even if it is a melange. I just want to get my accesses here. Three cards, let's see what we find. Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, none of those are agendas. That's too bad. It's probably an agenda in his hand. Oh, it is a marked account. It's interesting. All right, so he just jacksoned. So I get there's three fresh cards on top. Sweet. Hopefully. At least one's an agenda. Or hopefully two are agendas, honestly. That was the correct move, I think, on his part. And I don't think he would discard an agenda here. I think he'd discard tagging cards, like... Um, you know, those cards that tag. So I think what I want to do is draw a bunch of cards to try and find a Maker's Eye, because I have a feeling he's going to win next turn. I suspect he got an agenda there, 
or the psychographics he was looking for, one or the other. That's my suspicion. So I I think I need to go like draw three cards here. Okay. Or I could just diesel. Let's just diesel. Whew. Okay, well that's neat. I can trigger off events now. So I'm going to Dirty Laundry, I think it's hand first. And then is R&D? Or no, it's R&D first, because maybe I see a bunch of cards. Maybe I take, or like, maybe I take like a breaking news. No, that, eh, no, that's unlikely. Whatever, yeah, let's, let's do laundry egg or R&D. Three cards. Oh, sweet. That means there's only one Beal left. Oh, well, never mind. That's the game. Awesome. Cool. Notice how I got an extra click, I think, every turn? Um, sometimes it was, like, shitty. I had to, like, click for credits three times, and that was awful, but... It's sort of like you always have Gilahan's Arcology because you can take, if you go click for credit, click for credit, click for credit, you're only actually spending two clicks. You have two clicks left when you do that, and then you have three credits. So, yeah, it's like you start the game with a bad magnum opus in play, sort of. Uh, and then this game, you didn't get to see it, but I have another game posted where you do. When you get professional contacts and you start triggering your, your ability off of that, it gets pretty nuts. Three cards and three credits for two clicks. Not fair. Uh, anyways, let's see if I can't find another game. Wait, I need to edit this stupid deck first. What am I doing? Keep forgetting. Apparently I'm famous. Cool. Huh, all right, I'm gonna need need for it to load before I change the deck up. It's just a quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'll just tell my opponent to give me a second. It's just a, it's like minus two stim hack, plus one hostage, plus one crypsis, I think, is the changes I want to make. Yeah, this deck is pretty similar, actually, to Catman decks, except you don't have Desperado, instead you have five clicks a turn. And I think five clicks a turn is better. It's better than having Desperado in your deck. I guess here I can just do it now. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Hmm. 
Yeah, I should talk about it now. What's going on? Forgot how crappy this deck build is. Wait, it doesn't say how much. Hostage is two, right? I need to look this up real quick. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure it's two. I'm pretty sure it's two. I'll look it up later. I should get my game going. Alright, cool. Whoa. Huh. I don't like this hand. I don't hate this hand, but I don't like it either. I don't have anything to modded. The diesel's nice, but it's a bunch of cards that aren't that great. Like, the SMC's good early, but the men ship is more from of a mid-game card, and so is the clone ship. Huh. This hand's not great either. I can draw for my bonus, I guess, and then just play Sure Gamble Daily Casts and discard Plascrete. That seems fine. Who knows, maybe the first card I draw will be Person Contacts, though that won't matter. Since I won't, I won't play it this turn, I'm going to want my bonus click. I want my bonus click. Okay, huh. I could also just do runs for a bonus. Runs is always a good way to get a bonus click in the first turn. Let's play Sure Gamble. Like, the fact that he has ice here means you can put him into some must res situations. Ooh, Viper, gross. One of the reasons I like this deck is that not very, not very many people are playing Tracy Nice. Uh, because the two most popular decks are Andromeda and Kate. So, like, you're just facing people with base link all day, every day. So a card like Viper, which is very good against this deck... Um, isn't very good against other decks. Well, I mean, it's still not the best against me. I can always just Atman for four. And Atman for four is pretty sweet against HP because that's already hitting Ichi and Eli. Alright. Well, Nito. Now, I'll find out if this is a Melange or not. It is not. What is this? What is going on in this server? There's something awry in the state of Denmark. I can get in there, I can SMC and... thing. Like, Ash and... Is an agenda, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, I kind of suspect it's not an agenda. Oh, eh... Eh, it might be. Like he couldn't score it if if this one's the agenda. He can't. He couldn't have scored it last turn. Decisions, decisions. So how much does it actually cost me to get into that server? It cost me, what, eight? 
have to pay f no, I have to pay s seven. I have to yeah, that's too much. That's too much. I'm gonna go draw. Ooh. Draw. Well, that's kind of useless now. <laughs> Draw. Daily casts. Uh, and I guess I'll play self-modifying code. We'll see if he scores an agenda here. Residonis score agenda? Nope. What is that empty remote? Or undefended remote, I guess I should say. Oh. Huh. So an ash and a red herrings? An ash and a corporate troubleshooter, maybe? An ash, a sand sand, and an agenda, or an asset? All possibilities. Well, I'm going to let him have at it. I want to start contacting people. Card's a little less exciting when you have professional contacts out, but sometimes you just want credits. Sometimes you value a credit more than a card. It is possible. It's also a cheap thing to install to, like, for free, like when you're already installing two things anyways. Okay, oh man, the initial one was the agenda? Crap. Oh. Oh. Set of mandatory upgrades. Huh. Yeah, now I want to run. Uh-oh, if I accidentally used this too many times. He might have a corporate troubleshooter, so I want to give him a chance to react here. Okay, so I have to pay two each to trash these. I still get to access this. My thing is not cooperating with me here. There we go. And these guys too. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I have exactly enough cash.
can't let my opponent score mandatory upgrades. Hell no. <laughs> that would be pretty dreadful. Can't trash that. Yeah, let's run his... Uh, this might be a roto turret, but nah. Whatever. I have clone chips in here. Yeah, it keeps not triggering on runs specifically. Kinda sucks. Alright, there's a Jackson Howard. Oh. Get a professional contacts, and then I'm gonna play out Yeah, I'm gonna play out Armitage anyways. Right now, like I was talking about valuing cards more or credit a credit more than a card. Well now's now's a good example. So I'm gonna spend the next two turns getting my bonus click off of Armitage. I'm just gonna use it three times, then another three times the next turn, and that'll give me bonus clicks. Armitage gets a lot better when you only need to spend four clicks on it instead of six clicks on it. The math really starts working out a lot more in its favor. Alright, now I'm going to kill Encryption Protocol and Jackson Howard. Shuffling <laughs> encryption protocol and red herrings back in. <laughs> That's cute. This is a cute little little upgrade stack with the red herrings. The red herrings adorable. It's not as good as an Ash though. I think Ash is better. Like, hopefully he's also playing Ash. They actually work really well in conjunction. Like if if Ash stops them from accessing the red herrings they trash the ash, then they run again. Then the red herring stops them from taking the agenda. They have to run three times to get the agenda, and that's that's tough. It's, it's a tall order. Actually, I'm going to save this for a later turn. Right now, I want different cards. My cards are very good right now. That man's nice. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Clone Ship. And... I'm going to play Mem Chip as well. And I'm going to discard my Atman so that I can... Get it back at instant speed with clone chip. This way, like, like if this is a roto turret, I don't want to play at man at four and then run. But if it is, if it isn't a roto turret, then I can just at man at four, and get rid of this viper. It's pretty sweet. Ooh, interesting. Is that an agenda? I wonder.
Let's find out what it is. Alright, I'll wait for him to res that. I'm not going to trash it right now. It's unfortunate that that happened. I'm going to contacts. Alright, next turn is going to be events. I'm going to... Diesel... Hopefully draw some other event. And then Maker's Eye. And then my bonus clicks will be Running Eve and something else. event one time I guess that's an event <laughs> let's go nuts okay dirty laundry is nice This might be a encryption protocol, so I'll wait and let him... Okay, no it's not. Kill that thing. Yeah, did, once again, did not trigger. Alright, what could this be? Ichi would suck? Ichi would suck. Ichi would suck so much. Eh, it wouldn't be the worst, because I could just let it run. God, I needed to actually play the Maker's Eye. Uh, kind of sketchy now that like I've seen the pop up, but I said wait. I said whoops or wait or whatever before. Did he put it back down to seven? Okay, yeah. Wait, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm stupid. I can't actually deal with this. <coughs> uh, you can just spend three credits. Oh my god, what am I doing? Totally forgot how poor the makers I would make me. Should probably get Kitty Jones started, huh? Probably. I mean, I am forcing him to spend three credits, and that's not nothing, but still, dumb play on my part. Oh, he's just going to let me? Okay, well, pff, sure. I'll take my 
three cards, three axes, and this plays. Okay, he has to play Nash. Jeez, well that's that's nice for him. All right, I'm gonna want to get Katie Jones started next turn, but. I have two of them, so I don't need this one. <sighs> yeah, I think professional contacts probably just three times. Then play Katie Jones, activate Katie Jones, discard whatever cards are least useful. Escher might be good in this game, though, which is nice. I've been doubting its inclusion, given its underperformance, but... Yeah, okay, that's Ash, I think. Okay, well, one of them's Ash and one of them's an agenda. <sighs> I think I can afford to let him score an agenda here, though. And more importantly, I don't think I can deal with that anyways, so might as well not bother trying. Okay, well, that card's an easy discard. Ooh, that's a nice one to draw. And that one, too. If I ever get this thing to where it should be. Oh, right, I need to discard, don't I? Yeah, this one. And I already have one mem chip out. I don't particularly need the second one. Just need to make sure I have... I need five MU, but don't... Don't really need six. Okay, I had to go for a second. Yeah. Okay, huh, Director Hawes. Huh. <sighs> Interesting. Alright. And an Ash. So I think he gets another agenda off that, because I don't think I can break I can get in there this turn. Like My options are Katie, take money off Katie, credit three times, run, which puts me at nine, or play Armitage, take three credits, take credits three times, puts me at eight, and then like a run, and then I'm at eight. Either way, I don't think I have enough to break the ash and then trash it. <sighs> Jeez, it's hot here. I hate hot weather. I'm Canadian, I don't... I can't deal with this. So I think I have to just let him do that. So in that case, what I do is I play Armitage, use it three times, and then put money on Katie Jones in the next turn. I use Armitage three times, take money off Katie Jones, and run. And then I definitely have it. But in the meantime, he gets to score two points. But then I'm getting two points off this, so it's not that bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to 20 credits next turn. <sighs> From three. What other deck can do that, right? The collective, man. Vote collective. When if you go if you're going to the plugged in tour, please vote for collective. I really want this to become legal. If only so that there's a tournament worthy deck that doesn't play Desperado. Because right now I can't get a third Desperado because all my friends also want a third Desperado. Whereas before I, I, I would be comfortable playing Noise, but they killed Noise with Jackson Howard. Whereas like Laramie Fisk, A, he's gonna want Desperado. B, he sucks. He's terrible. Whereas the collect is actually really strong. So I guess he can try and defend this Haas more. Or, or... Oh, I guess he can just trash it, right? He can just install something else here. Hey, Gruesome. Your test was successful. Assuming you heard me anyways. <laughs> Twenty credits from three in a two turn time span. And I get to run as well. This deck's ridiculous. It's possible. I might want a public sympathy. Definitely not more than one though. Boy, Ash is expensive. I have to pay four there. Then I need to pay another three to trash it. Yeah, so there go all my credits. <laughs> I was talking about, man, I'm so many credits so quickly, so good. And it's gone. All gone. I mean, worth it, but all gone. What? That's an agenda, too. He doesn't have enough credits, though. Ha! Oh, it's Tommy Haas. That's what that is. He's going to take a credit, and then he has Tommy Haas, or install something new in his remote, and he has Tommy Haas. Or, huh, maybe it is an agenda. And he just didn't realize. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I can clench it though, right? Yeah. So I have an Atman for zero and an Atman for one. A value. This thing's probably getting scavenged in the near future. Sweet. 
I'm one agenda away from victory. Next turn, I'm going to want. Hmm. I want to keep this. I don't want to keep. Actually, no, I totally want to keep Escher, don't I? So I can put like unresed and ice wall here and then just run and like combo off. And eh, no, that's too expensive. It's three whole credits. Yeah, to hell with Escher. Don't need SMC, I don't think. No, I don't think I need SMC. I already have two Atmans and two Data Suckers. That should be enough. Like, I can set this to three or something and then just Data Suck all everything else. Huh. Is that a Jackson? Is that an encryption protocol? Something like that? I can't. I don't have the credits. I'm going to have to build up some credits. I'm going to go ahead and professional contacts three times. Maybe I'll see a modded. Okay, actually, yeah, I don't need R&D. Now that I think about it, I don't need these anymore. Because, like, one indexing should be enough to win the game. So I don't actually need... Don't need these stupid things. He's got some cash. I'm going to need to break Viper. That's going to require scavenging Ant-Man, which is not fun. Well, let's see. I take money off Katie. I'm up to 12. I scavenge Ant-Man for Ant-Man, placing it at 4. We're placing it at three accurate, actually, since I have a data sucker counter. That puts me to what, nine? Then I index and run, and I lose three credits each time? Or like. Yeah, no, that seems good. That should win me the game. I hope so, anyways. Does it not? I'll just do this. Oh, this is actually dumb because he's going to have a Jackson Howard out. 
So I'm going to just go ahead and make his eye. Even though I don't actually need to, because that way if he shuffles, I still have a, I'm, I'm Maker's Eye still, so I get to see three cards still. That was my third event. It clearly doesn't work with runs or events that give you runs. Uh, the Automation, I mean. I forgot that... I thought I was running on my last click, but I forgot I'd get a bonus click. I'm an idiot. Oh, no reactions. Okay, cool. I guess he doesn't have a Jackson Howard. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I mean, he kind of just had to do this on the fly. Yeah, I have to go. It's too late. Especially after playing that other game. I'm not just I'm not only playing Shaper, I'm playing the collective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Collect is awesome. There yeah, you can go back and watch so if you just got here, you can after I close this broadcast, the video will be on my Twitch, and you can watch. I have several games of my of my playing the collective, and I imagine I'm going to be streaming it quite a bit more because this deck's so much fun to pilot. Uh, it's so so much fun. You just have five clicks. Anyways, yeah, thanks to everyone for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching me play this ridiculous five-click monstrosity with 55 cards, five influence. <laughs> and it's actually good. Like, they made they made his stats so bad. Or their stats, I guess I should say, because it's three of them. So bad. It's still insane, because five clicks a turn just breaks the game. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm, I gotta peace out. I'll see you later.